let's have a look at outbound processor okay so generally let's take an example of your amazon here in this case amazon or flipkart or anything okay so now normally when we are ordering something on the portal so in the back end actually the amazon is selling the products to us correct so in that case one sales order will get created in the background for the amazon and who will be the customer we will be the customer in this case correct if you go and check the invoice one num number sales order number will be there delivery tracking or maybe the tracking number will be there right so with reference to the sales order i will first explain the end-to-end -end process for the outbound so one sales order will be there okay with reference to the sales order one delivery will be there so here in this case it will be the outbound delivery the products are going out of your warehouse so in this case one outbound delivery will be there okay now if this is ewm managed this delivery will get distributed to your ewm system correct so it will be the ewm outbound delivery will be there correct So I think no need to explain the document type and item type mapping. Everyone, this concept is clear. Document type and item type mapping. So here in this case, the document type of your outbound delivery in the ERP and uh, outbound delivery of your EWM. So that document type will get mapped. Similarly, the item type will get mapped. So anyone wants to see any any uh, issues in this particular concept? document type and item type mapping Gaurav, Amit, Omkar It's okay, Zar, uh, clear na sale, then luggage immediately sang up Manje, kasa hai te double double apla time na zana te chat Same topic kash Okay So, the combination to this, we will maintain one WPT. Normally, the document type will be your OTP plus ODLB. So, for this combination, we will maintain one WPT, warehouse process type. So, normally, it's 2010 for the outbound. For inbound, for inbound, it's INB plus IDLB equals to 1010 correct your various process type is 1010 for outbound it will be 2010 the 1 series WPTs are for inbound the 2 series WPTs will be for outbound and 3 series WPTs will be for internal movements like bin to bin movements, storage type to storage type movements correct any doubt in this anyone okay so this is how the WPT will get determined I will just mark it with some other colors this is how the WPT will get determined okay so now what system knows is the warehouse number warehouse also number is also there in the system for that plant and storage location combination right basically everything is running in that is a warehouse number only correct okay. based on document type item type we got the wpt and we have something called as stock removal control indicator that we will maintain in product master correct so 
this is how yesterday we have created one stock remote control indicator right i think this one so this is your stock removal control indicator and where we will maintain this control indicator in your product master so that one is the ticket record do 09 is my warehouse in warehouse data here you can maintain the put away control indicator here you can maintain the stock removal control indicator correct so in by in my inbound delivery in my outbound delivery there will be one more information that is your product what is the product in that inbound delivery right this i will highlight with similar colors maybe the blue because this stock remote control indicator will be there in the product master based on the product system will find this stock remote control indicator correct any doubt in this what system knows is your warehouse number your wpt and your stock removal control indicator any doubt in this so normally when we are telling about the amazon so let's see how big the amazon warehouses are so this is how the amazon warehouse looks like actually they are one of the advanced warehouses in the world see can you see now i have ordered one shoes okay i have ordered one shoes this is one of the just area one of the area actually so can you see this resource this resource is this small looking like this very small thing actually in this warehouse correct so how this resource will find exactly where that particular product is stored samasai how this resource will get to know now this resource is assigned to that outbound delivery what we have ordered shoes of size 9 okay one kind of shoes will be there and that we have ordered now how this user will going to find out exactly where that product is stored and how the system will determine exactly in which storage area in which storage bin the that particular product is stored correct so normally what information we are having the product is your shoes correct right? of nine size and a few more specifications will be there like color and lot of other things will be there right and in that product master in the system we will maintain one stock remote control indicator okay so what system knows warehouse number plus your stock remote control indicator based on your product then what else wpt warehouse process type for this combination i will maintain one storage type there will be one not storage type directly actually it will be the search sequence and in that search sequence different different storage types will be there like storage type 1 storage type 2 3 4 5 correct whatever are the possible combinations <coughs> whatever will be the possible combinations like if we are storing 
now based on your putaway strategy what we know this product we are storing in storage type 1 2 3 4 5 correct so similarly for the stock removal does that make any sense that for the putaway we have provided this area this area this area while doing the putaway we have uh, stored that product in this area and while picking are we going to the tell to the system that you have to search in this area correct we will tell to the system that you have to search in this particular area only right put away sati j area dilela sale basically only that area that particular area we will provide for the picking like for the cold storage i will provide the, the cold storage for the put away and again for the removal also if i am maintaining that product in the cold storage then i will provide the uh, cold storage only for the picking i will not provide that uh, in the settings the hot storage for that particular product right while doing that uh, picking strategy so basically based on the put away we already know the that that this particular product i am storing in this many storage types it can be one it can be many correct so similarly while doing the searching while doing the picking i will provide only those storage types in this search sequence okay so when system will create the warehouse task In system will try to create the warehouse task so this is how we do create the warehouse task right so this is how we can we do create the warehouse task right so while creation of the warehouse task system will try to search only in these storage types so in our combination what is our put away control uh, stock remote control indicator it's out b correct what is my wpt it's 2010 and what is my warehouse number it's ga09 correct for this combination i will just have to maintain storage type search sequence can you see this this is my warehouse number this is my stock removal control indicator this is my warehouse process type wpt 2010 for this combination i have maintained out b storage type search sequence what i have maintained here it's out b what system has determined is out b and what is the storage type it's actually 0020 0030 storage types so if any product is available the same product is available in the system in these two storage types then system will create the warehouse task 002018 i will show you that setting first out p we have here the out p out b and these are the storage types i have assigned 0020 and 0030 correct so this is how the 0020 and 0030 system will try to search only in these two storage types okay
if product is available in 0040 but we have provided only these storage types and if the product is not available in these two storage types system will give an error because we have not provided this storage type okay so here if the product is available for example we have ordered two quantities we have ordered two quantities so in that case if the two quantity is available in 0020 in that case 0020 will be the source bin and my gi zone will be my destination bin correct if two quantity is your uh, available in 0020 then warehouse task will get created like this for two quantity if the two quantities are not available in 0020 then system will try to search in 0030 so in that case system will try to create the warehouse task from 0030 to your gi zone for two quantity okay if so this this concept is clear now this this entire thing is nothing but your picking strategy the outbound process basically this is how the product will get picked with reference to this warehouse task now what information is there in this warehouse task your source bin 0020 and your destination bin is gi zone so in this entire warehouse system knows this is 0020 area and again exact storage bin will be there for example this is the storage bin so this user will come here okay pick this product and it will stage at this particular door the staging area basically and after that it will get loaded into the truck okay in this entire warehouse or there can be the possibility like 10 such warehouses are there 10 such warehouses are there for the amazon in india correct they have the hubs basically right how they do these uh, all the supply chains they have their own hubs like this it's it's a warehouse basically where they actually store those particular products okay clear any doubt guys any doubt in the process anyone Gaurav clear eh? Saurav How is it? Yes, yes, yes. Home car clear. Saurav. Any doubts, Shriari? Anyone? No, sir. No doubts. Yes, sir. I am here. I did laptop stuff. Okay, okay, no doubt. Yes. 
okay at least try to complete the configurations till your packs pick poic okay for those who have not started or who are stuck somewhere just clear up those things because i'm not uh, going to take the same concepts again and again and again okay because you know uh, it is impacting on the entire patch actually so unless and until if you are not uh, trying enough in the system then then uh, in that case you know it will be very difficult for you to understand the next concepts because from now onwards uh, uh, we will start the wave management warehouse order creation rule and at that time if you practice uh, this POSC or the pack spec then in that case you know it will be very difficult for you to understand both the concepts. Ask concepts like at least system.